Well, hey there, passengers. Did you enjoy the weird but charming movie Napoleon Dynamite? Good news! There was a six-episode animated series. Even better news! They got the original cast to voice everyone as their animated counterparts. Even better news! It is in a Family Guy style with cutaway gags and everything! Oh. Wait. Wait. Um... That's not a good thing. But it still has the oddly indescribable charm as the movie, right? No. No, it doesn't. <sighs> Unfortunately, the only redeeming quality I could find with this show was the fact that the voice cast came back to reprise their roles. And overall, the show seemed to have zero grounding and just seemed to be a mix between Bob's Burger and Family Guy and with just way too many over-the-top cartoony moments. Yeah, I realize it's a cartoon, but with these characters, you can't expect them to be in a world of over-the-top gag humor. Okay, is everybody ready? Good, gravy! Holy crap! Looks like I'm gonna smear the deer. Not today, Don. What the heck? What? He said love. Human love. This is the Scantronica 3000, the most accurate barometer of human compatibility ever created. To you, I entrust the ultimate task. Restoring the Liger to its once noble standing. You must become its father. Okay. Goodbye, Napoleon. Wait, I have an important question. Yes, Napoleon. If you sneeze, fart, burp, and yawn at the same time... Goodbye, Napoleon. Hey, Dave! Double or nothing says you won't jump down that mine shaft again. Forty bucks? You're wrong, sucker! <laughs> Tell her. You can't talk. I'm awake. You're daydreaming. Now snap out of it and tell her. Grandma, I can't take it anymore. Rico and I cheated. You should have won that race. What are you saying? I'm saying Rico and I cheated. You should have won that race. I knew I wasn't an old lady. Her apples are fake. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've accidentally done, my sweet. You're even dumber than Filson said you were. Filson? I wasn't gonna lose to you two years in a row, Napoleon. Then on top of that, the characters, the characters are just not the characters from the movie. They are just completely off from the original. Napoleon went from being socially awkward to just being a complete jerk. Kip doesn't even mention LaFonda once, and I know this was after the class elections, from the movie because Pedro is class president, so she would be around. Uncle Rico went from being a loser that you feel pity for by the end of the movie to being a loser that is annoying because he's such an idiot. Deb, she doesn't feel like the same girl at all. But Pedro, at least he's always a win. Wait, even though Napoleon is a crappy friend sometimes, he truly loves the FFA. So while you were tearing the patch of his jacket, I wrote this song. I was thinking the other day, as Napoleon zipped his jacket up all the way, how he's proud to be in the FFA. He loves to milk cows and shear sheep. And then episode 6 comes around, and it's entitled FFA, and everything starts out really good and stuff like that, and you think you're going to get something that resembles the charm of the movie, but then, of course, stupidity comes in and ruins it yet again. So, all in all, everything with this animated show, just watch the real movie, because this show was not Napoleon Dynamite.
You know, I think what angers me the most is the simple fact that LaFonda wasn't in here with Kip. 